Chapter 1, Struggling to Survive The yellowish weeds were sparely maybe it was due to overgrazing by herbivores, or because of the extreme dry weather there was almost no visible grass and he could only see the hard and grey yellow grass roots. Some grasslands and grass roots have been upped, leaving only dry and deserted land. A grey black rabbit jumped out of the sandy hole, sensitively looked at the surroundings, after seeing no threats, then the rabbit bowed down and drafting through the roots, seems like winter is coming, all animals would try to store fat in this last moment. In order to survive the long winter hibernation. A tall figure in the distance grabbed a spear with a sharply cut head. The man was crawled like a wild leopard and quietly approached the fat rabbit. Ah! The rabbit's feet trembled. It was not just killed by a spear, but was flattened by a spear. The figure came close, and a rabbit had his head flattened but the fur was not damaged at all it was strung with a straw rope and hung on one of the barb by the spear. The coming person was about to leave, but suddenly he stopped and bent to look at the ground. As usual he saw on the slightly deserted grasslands there was a trace of footsteps from the west to the east, as if there was something like a stake that dragged from above. The person knelt down and looked down the footsteps. The footsteps were long and they continued to move elsewhere. The tall, dark man rubbed his fingers and raised his hand and smelled it. He touched the blood from the ground and saw it was dried but there was a clear bloody smell. The animals that left the blood, whether animals or people, shouldn't be more than half a day. That would depend on whether the injured was an animal or human. The man licked his lips. A pair of narrow black eyebrows revealed a cruelty and greed face and the face with a murdering gaze and a strange pattern on his face was extremely fierce. A rabbit is too small to feed the family, he must find more food. Following down the traces all the way to the east, there a small grassy beach with a radius of only three or four feet. There was a depression in the middle of the grassland that cannot be a waterhole. There were turbid yellow muddy things in the water. There are still many wild grasses in the water. There is the only small hole in the vicinity, and it is less than one foot deep. This depression is the only source of water that can be found in the vicinity of 20 mile range. At the time of the water scarcity, there wasn't a human being who did not know how important it is to seek a water source. This person did not know whether there was another person here. Maybe the person was exhausted or near death. It seemed as if the man climbed to the side of the leeches. One hand had been inserted into the leeches, but his mouth did not touch the water. The human body was naked, and only a straw rope attached to the waist. From the exposed skin, this human is not very old also not too tall to look at. The whole body is thin and skinny, with only a few round buttocks is only where one can see some meat. The flies were buzzing around him. In addition to the flies, some insects that can't be named have turned the humans who fell near the waterside into a big meal today and even a few days later. Soon they are looking for a place on the human body ready to open a buffer. Especially since the man had worms on his right leg. The man had a rather large wound on his right leg, it looked like a beast chewed his knee up a bit, breaking the bones, the wound was like a simple treatment, and the broken bone was tightly tied with a straw. He does not know whether it was because the weather was too hot or lack of therapeutic drugs, the skin around the wound was rotten and begins to pus, a large number of white worms were crawling up and down the wound. A black beetle bit the rotten meat on the leg and torn it open with a huge tongs head, and with a sharp triangular skull, the beetle wanted to drill into the freshy flesh inside. The man who was kneeling on the ground shivered and was suddenly awakened by the pain. Fuck. Yan Mo couldn't believe that he fainted. He crawled for nearly a day before he found the water source. He thought he could fall into a leech's and drank it only to faint mid-struggle. Yan Mo also raised his body regardless of the throbbing pain in the wound on his right leg. He moved the leg forward and buried it in the water. The water is not cold but still cool so for those who have been exposed for a sunny day, this is cool enough to at least reduce the temperature of his head. Yan Mo didn't drink the water from the water hole. He just kept himself awake. Such dirty water was not filtered, and with his current injuries and illness it will be a big problem if he drinks the dirty water into his stomach. When he crawled over, he had already scouted a little. 
he found the footprint of the animal at the edge of the water. With his many years of experience in medical practice, he saw that the water quality was not good but it was unlikely to be poisonous. Before he passed out, he wanted to scoop a little amount of water and settle it. Then look at the water quality later then consider how to drink. Now he finds that he is likely to have a fever again because of a wound infection, and he can't wait for the water to settle. Let's take a cool L. Until he couldn't help himself, Yan Mo extended his head from the otter. Thanks to the hot weather and the desert climate, there was no aquatic life in the water bowl except the weeds. There are bound to be disadvantages. He also wanted to find two leeches to help him suck the blood around the wound. The squid can be dried and ground into powder can also treat the bruises and the powder will have a certain effect on the treatment of fractures. Nowadays, there is no such thing as squid around this desert land. Yan Mo propped up his upper body and pulled away his injured right leg. He looked down and saw that the black beetle had already plunged half of his body into his wound. Instead of pulling it directly with his fingers, he broke off a hard grass root and used it as a knife tip. He carefully opened his own flesh and skin, and stabbed the beetle that had been drilled in half into the flesh. When the blood came out, Yan Mo reached into the water and stretched his wrists. He used his hands to scoop into the bottom of the leeches and pull a little muddy water under the yellow sand and splashed it on the wound. This is the most rudimentary and most compelling method of stopping bleeding. All the little bugs that ate away on the wound were washed off leaving only the white aphids that ate the dead cells, and the wen shang around him turned around and fled, and the rest were managed temporarily. Yan Mo's mouth slightly ticked, revealing a very ridiculous smile. With his legs dragging, he once again picked up a puddle of water, and the water contained a lot of water. He wanted to wait for it to completely settle. At least another piece of equipment should be used to let the water settle for a day. This kind of water with high salty content shouldn't be used to relieve thirst. Because after a while, it will make him more thirsty, but he can't help it. Is it better to be thirsty now, or be thirsty in the future? Is it okay to be thirsty to death, or one should be careful to drink water that is not clean? Yan Mo found a place that looked pretty clean. He rubbed the dust on the surface of the water, visible to the naked eye, and simply filtered it with his fingers. He licked his lips and drank it. A little bit of strange water flows down the throat through his throat, and the whole body was like being moisturizing. Even if the water is difficult to swallow, he still takes a sip of his mouth, not only temporarily relieves thirst, but also fills a water. After drinking the water, he sat in the place to rest for a while. The pain in his leg was ignored, and he did not have a better treatment for it anyway. Looking up at the water, the water reflection kept shaking, but he can see his appearance now. A mess of straw, half-length hair, scalp was itching and Yan Mo doesn't know how many lice are in it. Touching the face that was still smooth, the chin has no long beard, the age should be estimated to be younger, looking at the skin now and one can touch the bones and Yan Mo guessed that the age of the body should be between the ages of 12 and 16. The gap will be so big, first because he can't see his face clearly. The second is because this place is a special environment. He only looked at the skin and can't determine this new body age. The people in the desert have always reached puberty earlier, so he can't judge his age correctly. It would be nice to have a knife, and it would be even better to have a lighter. Yan Mo forbids himself to worry about it. If you want something, you will only want more. And now he has nothing but a straw rope around his waist and a grass pocket makeshift crotch front covering under warish that protects his grandchildren bag, scrotum. 1. I guess some sort of Tarzan style crotch wear. That straw rope and grass pocket makeshift crotch front covering under warish was necessary because he had to crawl on the deserted grass and he was afraid of hurting the private parts, and be temporarily smashed together the weeds to cover the front part, but this temporary grass pocket makeshift crotch front covering under warish is not comfortable, although there is no direct contact with the ground, but the burrs and hardness of the weeds also scratches and bruised him. Yan Mo guessed that he was probably abandoned, because he was unable to walk because of the injury, 
plus the infection this meant that the person who discarded him did not think he could still live, and he did not have a piece of clothing, probably also that's meant they discarded him. The person thinks that since this person is going to die, there is no need for him to possess those things. If his guess is true, when the ordinary people don't even give clothes to the dead clothes one can see how pitiful they are. Of course, he also had a thought about it. For example, his body was kidnapped. The kidnapper found that he could not use it for whatever purpose of kidnapping and he simply discarded him. In order not to let the police find more clues, even the clothes were taken away. If this guess is true, then at least he has the possibility to return to modern society. But, looking at this tan skin, although it is not a natural black, African, species, but it cannot be seen as a brown, Latino, or yellow person, Asian. Looking at the rough ankles and palms. At first glance, it seems like someone who hasn't done a lot of manual work. There are not only a bunch of old men look but also not rough skin. It looks like a rich boy who was kidnapped. Therefore, he must have come to a place that is particularly poor and has a special folk customs. How can someone leave a child who is near dead? Maybe the people here don't even understand the legal system, or they are a group of extremely sinister criminal concentration camps. No matter which one it is, it is terrible. Ah! Yan Emo screamed and slammed his head into the water again. This time he didn't cool down, but shampooed his hair. His scalp was itching, and he could even clearly feel the blood-sucking black bugs traversing his scalp. If he has a knife in his hand, he will shave himself. Yan Emo pulled his head out of the leech's water again, and finally the scalp was not so itchy. Now he can start to think about how to live. First of all, he needs to carefully scrutinize this small grassland, and may find herbs that stop bleeding and reduce inflammation. It would be better if you could find some hard shrubs that could replace the weed crouch pants so that he could rewrap and fix the broken bones. Secondly, he still needs a weapon to defend himself. It is almost in the evening, not only will the night wild things come out, but also the wild animals will soon gather here to drink. If he can't leave here before dark, and since he has no weapons or no fire to defend himself, he has to wait to be eaten by the wold animal. Still he should leave as soon as possible. Although there is water here, it is too dangerous to stick around. Yan Mo glanced through the grassy beach and saw no shrub-like plants, only weeds. Focusing on the deeper weeds, Yan Mo laid and uses his arms to crawl forward, hoping to find some useful herbs. Suddenly, a black spear stuck the earth in front of him. Yan Mo was paralyzed, then excited, someone is here. The man standing behind Yan Mo blocked his way with a spear, and his eyes swept over the teenager's bare back focusing on the slightly buttocks. The man hit his crotch with his empty hand, like he was considering whether he would first come up with a diarrhea, or directly rope the person back and take it back. This kid is wounded like this, looks like he has 80% chance dying, if he is not dead or cruel eaten by animals, bringing him back is also a waste of food. Yan Mo tried to prop up his upper body and he wanted to look back at the human being standing behind. Yan Mo saw the appearance of the person behind him. The man also saw the appearance of Yan Mo. The little face was washed very cleanly, and the wounded person looked really handsome boy. Yan Mo snorted, this man is definitely not a good person, when Yan No was looking at his eyes Thai man looked like watching a piece of meat. And this is a savage land? No matter how good his figure is, the man can't hide the savage and bloodthirsty temperament of his body not to mention that he not only has a tattoo on his face also a piece of animal skin around his waist. Admits amongst modern people who will wear this style of dress up? Yan Mo felt murderous, the other side wants to kill him. Almost as soon as the man is about to kill him, Yan Mo squeezed out one of his most sultry coquettish smiles. The man reached for Yan Mo neck and stopped. He wanted to snap the boy's neck for the boy own sake merciful death. Although he wanted to come here before and leave right away but it was late, the sun was going to fall, he had to rush back to the tribe. 
This grassy land is not so safe at night. Brother, give me a food to eat, and I will be a cow, work, for you, is that okay? The man couldn't understand what Yan Emo was saying, but he looked at the little cute face with a thick smile and suddenly felt very fond of it. Or bring it back home and take care of it. If the boy ends up disabled, he can use it for other purposes. If he has a use for it, it will be fine. It is just like when you reserve food in winter. Brother I don't have a family. As long as you are willing to save me, I will definitely repay you. The voice sounds good too. It will be very exciting to listen to him when he is crying, moaning-ish. Brother. Yan Mo didn't have time to say the third sentence. He was slashed on the neck by a man's spear and fainted straight away.